Who are you? I'm Brookhaven's bad boy. I'm sending you to boarding school. Absolutely not! Will you go out with me? Why are you suddenly avoiding me? I can't keep this up! That you're a troublemaker and you can't change! I've always been a top student, mainly because my dad pressured me to be one. When we moved here, he told me to focus on my grades and nothing else. And like always, I listened. <sighs> I need to focus on my grades. I need to focus on my grades. Hey, be careful there. You okay? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. Are you sure? It looks like you fell pretty hard. Here, let me help you. Uh, thanks. I've got it. Hmm. Hey, what's your name? Uh, I'm... I'm Robin. I see. Well, it's nice to meet you, Robin. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> just like a cute little bird. No, my name is not like a bird. So, you're just a cute girl. No, you have it all wrong. So, you're not cute? Stop it! This isn't funny! <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're being so cute right now, it's hard not to tease you. What? I was just saying her name is cute, that's all. What's the big deal? It's okay. No, it's not okay! You're making her uncomfortable! Come on, I'm just having some fun. Hey, wait a second! What? It was obvious that you were being flirty there. I wasn't being flirtatious at all. I was just being friendly. Then why were you leaning so close to her and teasing her like that? <laughs> Think for yourself. Until next time, little bird. You two should both hang out. Eggheads should stick together. Ugh, he's so annoying. You shouldn't hang out with him because he doesn't care about grades. Yeah, I could tell. That's why you should hang out with someone like me. Oh? Oh, uh, we don't have to become friends right away. I just noticed that we were similar and... I'd love to be friends with you, Jenny. Though it may be small, that's just the first instance of Marco turning my life around. In my previous school, I was alone and never had the opportunity to make friends. Maybe now I could change. Hey, little bird. We never got to talk much before. I'm guessing you're new here. Uh, I guess you could say that. So what brought you here? My dad got a new job, so we had to move. Interesting. Why do you keep calling me a little bird? I have a name, you know. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, anyone can call you by your name. So you think you're special? A little. Great. Just great. 
Uh, oh, something wrong? Uh, yeah. It looks like I left my textbook back at school. There's no way I can do my homework now. Maybe I have come in early. Okay, let's just go get it. Huh? But the school is probably locked. Hmm, yeah, but there's always the gym entrance. They never lock that one. And you know this because... <laughs> I'm Brickhaven's bad boy. It's kind of my job to know these things. Well, we can't just go in. Why not? It's our school. You coming? <sighs> if my dad finds out... <laughs> he won't. <laughs> Come on, how was I supposed to know he'd be there? You were the one who made it seem like it was going to be empty! That's the last time I'm following you around! Oh, <laughs> I really hope it isn't. I want us to become good friends. Uh, you don't need to give me a lift back. My dad can get me. Cool, see you around. I saw you. Huh? I saw you two break in. <sighs> Typical Marco. What do you mean? Things always end badly whenever someone gets involved with him. Who are you? I'm Daniel, and I hope you take my advice. After all, I used to be friends with him. I... You know, he even beat someone up so badly they ended up in the hospital. You hanging out with him isn't a good look, so I'd think about that. I need to go. My dad's here. Okay. I hope to see you again, Robin. I never told him my name. Hey, little bird. Need a ride? Hey, hey, what's up with you? I thought we were cool. Why are you suddenly avoiding me? Look, Marco, I get that you want to be friends and all, but I really need to focus on just my grades right now. It's not like I'm saying no, but now is just not the right time for me. <sighs> Come on, Robin. Uh, how long can it take to improve your grades? It's not just about studying and good grades. I have responsibilities, you know? My parents expect me to succeed, and I need to focus on that first. So, I guess you finally heard the rumors. What rumors? You know, the ones. People have been saying some really bad things about me lately. And I'm pretty sure you're one of the people who believes them. <sighs> Marco, I mean... I have heard some things, you know, but I don't know if they're true or not. But either way, I can't risk associating with the likes of you any longer. But you don't know anything about me. You're right. I don't know anything about you. All I know is what I've heard from people, and it's not very appealing. So you just blindly believe what you hear? 
I don't blindly believe it, Marco, but with all the trouble you've been getting into lately, it doesn't take a genius to see your true colors. <laughs> Would it kill you to use your own brain for once and think about who I am? Well, prove it then. Show me you're not actually some troublemaker who needs to be avoided at all costs. What? Are you really gonna write me off like that? Without even trying to get to know me? Hey! Let go of me! D just stay still and listen to me for once. Hey guys, what's going on? It's really nothing. Let me explain, okay? She's making a big deal over nothing. I just wanted to have a talk with her. Robin, do I need to call a teacher? No, it's fine, really. Robin, listen to me. It's not worth it. He's not worth your time or energy. Just forget about him and focus on things that actually matter. Like, your grades. Wait. D did you tell her all those rumors about me? You bet I did. I was looking out for her. I knew you'd be a bad influence. Those rumors weren't even true. Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to believe that. All I know is that you're not good enough for my friend. She can do so much better than someone like you. Forget this. When you're interested in actually getting to know the real me, Robin, and not the rumors everyone tells you, you know where to find me. Good riddance! Yeah. What if I was wrong? What if Marco isn't a bad person? It doesn't matter though. Dad would never approve of me letting my grades slip. That's what I need to focus on right now. Want to go over some chemistry notes in the library? Sure. Dad, I'm tired of all the pressure. I've got so much work to do and so few days until finals start. I don't care how tired you are. You need to study more or else you'll fail your exams. But I'm just burnt out. I can't keep this up. It doesn't matter. Do what you're told or else you're going to face the consequences. I'll make sure that you get grounded until finals are over. No going out with your friends. No going on your phone. You'll just be in your room, studying. But what if I need help with the work? You'll figure it out. I don't have time to sit around and help you with everything. But Dad, Mom would have helped me. I don't want to hear about your mother. You know she's gone and she's not coming back. She doesn't matter anymore. <sighs> you don't care about anyone but yourself. All you care about is that I get good crates. You don't care about me at all. You're right. I don't care about you. I care about your grades. So do your work and stop crying. But you're my dad. Can't you care about me too? I don't have time to care about you. All I want is for you to keep your grades up. Why are you calling me? I thought you said we couldn't be friends. I know. I'm sorry. I just needed someone to talk to. You get back here, young lady. <laughs> I could save you if you ask me to. I don't need you to do that for me. Just talk to me, okay? Okay, whatever you need, Birdie.
After that previous night, I couldn't help but see Marco in a different light. I mean, I already knew that he wasn't a bad person, but now I couldn't help but light up whenever he was in the room. Sometimes I'd find my eyes meeting his and couldn't stop my heart from fluttering. Absolutely not! There is no way you can have feelings for Marco! He… he's awful! Can't you find someone nicer to date? You know, you were the one telling me all these awful rumors about him, but he's not that bad. You shouldn't judge people without getting to know them, Jenny. I know that better than anyone. I mean, yeah, but you still don't have to date him. He could be playing with you. Maybe, but it's just nice. What is? Having something else to think of other than studying. Well, would you look at that? I never thought I'd see the day where Marco was reading a book. You've been rubbing off on him. I hope I have. You've changed too! Huh? How so? Well, you used to be quiet, but now... You use your voice! Not so loud! <sighs> I may have to admit defeat. If you really, truly are desperately in love with... <clears throat> him then as your best friend i am compelled to help you even if i don't approve thanks jenny i never expected us to get paired up Eh, with you on the team, we'll surely get good grades. But it sucks that we have to go to my house for this stupid presentation. Huh? Why? You'll see. Marco, did you take my golf clubs? I have a very important meeting today and I don't have time for your tricks. Hello to you too, Dad. And no, what would I want with your clubs? What's going on, Jonathan? I heard a lot of yelling. Nothing, just him being his usual useless self. What did you do to make him so outraged? Were you causing trouble again? I... Don't you I I me, young man? You know how your dad is. He expects nothing less than perfection from you. I know, but... But what? There are no buts here. You're lucky he hasn't been stricter with you. It wouldn't matter anyway. You guys don't care about me. You only care about work. Hey! Wow, your parents are... A lot. <laughs> yeah, they're famous movie stars, but they barely acknowledge I exist and are always working. Despite everything, you're still so confident. I'm jealous. I'm not that confident. For example, I've been wanting to ask you out this whole week, but just haven't worked up the nerve to do it. Why not? Because I was afraid I wasn't good enough. That you'd only ever see me as the bad boy. You should try asking again. Maybe the result will be different. <laughs> well then, Birdie, will you go out with me? I'll take that as a yes. Wow, that means our first date is probably going to be the dance. Flame. I thought that wasn't your thing. Yeah, but who else is going to dance with my girl but me? <laughs> You're stupid, and don't think you can get out of doing the project. Hey Jenny, do you mind if I ask you for a favor? 
Sure! What do you need? Do you mind helping me get ready for the dance? I know your style and fashion sense is top-notch. I'd really appreciate your help. I'm so nervous. I have no idea what to wear or which shoes I should pick. Don't worry. I've got you covered. Let's start with a dress. Do you want to go for something classic or more bold? Hmm. Let's go bold. I really want to make an entrance at the party. Oh, what do we have here, Robin? Looks like you two are getting all dressed up. Oh, uh, I have a dance to go to with my friend Jenny tonight, Dad. A dance? Are you sure you should be wasting your time on something so pointless? <laughs> you should be studying and preparing yourself for a professional career. You're embarrassing me, Dad. Now make sure you're back home before 10. Yes, sir. And Robin, no boys allowed. Yes, sir. So, how is Marco doing? It must be tough not being able to see him before the dance tonight. Yeah, it's been hard. Plus, I have a feeling my dad doesn't approve of him much. You know how strict he is. I know, that's rough. But hey, just remember that at the end of the day, it's your choice who you date. Yeah, you're right. Just, sometimes... I feel like I can't really stand up to my dad. He's kind of intimidating, you know? I get what you mean. But sometimes, you just have to try to stand up for yourself. Maybe try inviting Marco over for a nice dinner with your dad? And if your dad says anything, just be firm and tell him that you and Marco are together and that he needs to trust you. I... Uh, yeah, I suppose you're right. I think I should give that a try. And maybe it'll help my dad be less strict about me having a boyfriend. Anyway, let's not worry about that now. We have a dance to attend. Glad to see you know how to shower. I have my days. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks. You don't look too bad yourself. Hey there, Robin. You look beautiful today. I see you're already with... Yes, I'm here with Marco. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't realized you were <clears throat> with someone. Yeah, I, I was just about to ask you to dance. Well, too bad. I'm here with Robin, so you better leave her alone. Oh yeah? What's stopping me? Me. And I have a feeling you don't want to mess with me. Oh, I'm so scared. Look, we both know you're not good enough for Robin. So let me take her off your hands. You're cocky, you have a bad reputation, and worst of all, you're not even that good looking. What the? Daniel, can you please leave? You better watch your mouth. Or what? Or I'm gonna shut it for you. Looks like I won. Marco, what have you done? I, I was defending you. You're welcome. I didn't ask you to do any of that. I just wanted one night where we could be together. But by fighting with him, you're only proving him right. That you're a troublemaker and you can't change. 
Not even for me. Robin, wait! Get in the car, Robin. We're going home. But... Now. Do you know how embarrassing that was? I had to come to school and take my daughter home because two boys were fighting over her. If you were just focusing on your studies, things never would have escalated like this. That's not true, and you know it! Deep down, you know this isn't my fault, and you just hate the fact that I have a boyfriend and I didn't tell you! Of course I'm upset. You should have told me. Why? So you can move us away again without even telling me? <laughs> oh, I'm not going anywhere. But you are. Huh? I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. Dad, what do you mean by that? I'm sending you to boarding school. An all-girls one. Maybe then you'll realize just how important it is to study and stop fooling around with boys. Dad, he's my boyfriend! You can't just send me away! Oh, really? And what's so great about him? Well, he's nice and he's cool and... Nice and cool and what? Well, he makes me happy. So that's it, huh? You like him because he makes you happy. Yes. That's a pretty pathetic reason. But... Just listen. You're too young to be dating. The only thing you should be worried about for the time being is your studies. But he makes me happy! Oh, he makes you happy, does he? Is your boyfriend gonna give you a job? He probably won't probably has no future. Is he a good student like you? No, definitely not. I've told you before, the only thing that matters in life is getting good grades, and you're gonna ruin that for yourself because of this boy? Dad, please just let me stay here! No, this is my decision, and it's been decided. You're going to boarding school, and that's that. Please, Dad! I'm your parent. This is what's best for you. Now stop crying and start packing. Hi, Robin. What's up? We need to talk. Are you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... What is it? Is everything okay? No. Everything's not okay. What happened? Just... Can you please come over? Yeah, yes, of course. I'll be right there. Wait, so your dad is sending you away to boarding school because of me? He said that I'm ruining my future by being with you, that I'm choosing a boy over my grades. He wasn't even concerned about your feelings or anything? Yeah, and I'm so upset. I still want to be with you, Marco. Then run away with me. What? Run away with me. We'll take my bike and hit the road. Come on, Robin. Fly away with me. What the heck is this? He just... he just came over to talk. Really? Just to talk? And he just happened to come over right now because what? His psychic senses told him that I was sending you away? No, it's not just the talk. He's my boyfriend, okay? I've been keeping him a secret from you because I know that you would freak out. And no, I haven't been ruining my life by being in a relationship. I get great grades, even with all my time spent with him. I still spend plenty of time studying. 
So maybe it's not just all about my grades. Maybe it's about me being free and happy with someone that I love. Love? <laughs> oh, honey, you don't know what true love is. You're just a stupid teenager. How is dating this guy gonna help you in your future? Are you serious? You're her dad, and this is how you talk to her? Marco, no. I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. You are not leaving this house. You belong to me, do you understand? What? I don't belong to you. I am not your property. I'm a person with my own thoughts and feelings, and I can make my own choices. I'm leaving. I don't care what you think. Well, you can't just leave. Watch me! Robin! Robin, get back here! You won't get away with this! That was pretty cool of you. <laughs> My girlfriend's the best. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. You know, we can't really go anywhere. I know, but just for tonight, let's extend that everything is okay. Okay. Daniel, what are you doing here? I like you, Robin. That's why I can't understand why you'd go out with this trash. Dude, please, this isn't you. Shut up! You've always thought you were better than me, but you're not. Come on, Robin. You're about to see who he really is. Fight me! Please, just stop it! I won't. Come on, do something! Hit me! Marco, please move! You've always been a troublemaker, which is why it makes no sense for you to change now! So come on, Marco, hit me. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry we stopped being friends. But I'm not sorry that I love her. I'm willing to change. I'm not going to hit you, even if it kills me. No! So be it then. You moron! I never would have told you if you had done this! Robin, I am so sorry about my brother. He told me he was only coming to apologize. Your brother? You know I wasn't going to hurt him badly. I, I I was just mad. Save it for someone who cares. Uh, yeah. The twins of terror. Marco! Call an ambulance! Robin? Mom? Dad? Marco! You're okay! What happened? That boy Daniel, when I get my hands on him, we are suing! Dear, calm down. That's not what he needs right now. Why are you here? I thought you were busy. You think we're so busy that we can't come see our child in the hospital? If I... If we made you feel that way, then we're sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry too, hon. I thought about losing your mom in the process. I forgot that I was losing you. Dad. We've been so busy that we haven't noticed the fine man you've become. But we're willing to change now, if you'd let us. Same here. We decided to forgive our parents. After everything, we felt it was best to forgive our parents and focus on each other. 
I'm glad our first date wasn't the dance. Technically, it was until you ruined it. Hey, well, now I hope you see I'm not that bad of a guy. Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs>